Just what a command from God because this nation, these wow. people, wow. And why did Muhammad? Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? No, because the problem is the Muhammad. The problem is the Muhammad. Why did Muhammad? Why did Muhammad? Why did Habibi? Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? And she was breastfeeding. 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 She no no listen 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 to me listen to me. Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? Why did Muhammad kill Asma bin Marwan? It's okay for Muhammad to kill a woman who was breastfeeding. It's okay for Muhammad to kill a woman who was breastfeeding. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Then I don't debate a lie. If I'm alive, why are you debating a lie? Why are you debating a lie? Those lies. No, you are a lie. I am asking you. Is it Muhammad? Muhammad and Bia. Muhammad and Alami. It's okay for Muhammad to kill Asma bin Marwan. Soldier, I'm from the military background. So, so you know, but now, then he became a Pakistani soldier, you understand? Because yeah. Pakistan came in. Yeah, so, so you are from the same country? No, 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 no. So India is a big country. She's from the south, you know, Goa. So she, she said she's a Christian. Uh, I don't know, but it's just for the visa. She became Christian or what? You know. Well, she doesn't talk much about the Bible or insults, that's it. You know. Well, we're trying to, we're trying to teach her, but she doesn't like, take the teaching that well. Oh. You know what? Well, we, we're trying. Yeah, that's good if you're trying. At least tell her to use it. Because she's standing up here on a Christian platform, okay? And she talks about Jesus sometimes. But the thing, I know she doesn't have much knowledge about the Bible, as she's a newcomer. Yeah. We don't even know whether she's a really Christian or just for the visa, you know? Because, you know, in India, they have a right wing government. In India, Modi, you know, right wing also. So they are uh, mistreating the Muslim community and also mistreating the Christian community. So many people you see going to USA, coming over to Europe through the sea or to Turkey or all these, they all try to get here. And many people, they use this uh, route rightly or wrongly, you know, whether they are telling the truth or not that you know they are being persecuted so christians through india a lot of them have come and they say oh they are christian they are being persecuted you know moody there so immediately they, oh yes so you know they get uh start going to the church and the church helps them so they finally reach here when they reach here Okay, through the church. Then when they get the full visa, then it's up to them whether they are carry on Christianity. Okay, now we are permanent, now we can do what we like, you know. Uh, you know, like some people, they give a lot of money to uh, people who traffic, like, you know, the migrants, things like that, you know. But it's, but it's interesting you say that, but yeah, about the Christians. Yeah. So then why are there more Muslims here than Christians? Thank you for that question. So that means what you're saying applies to them more, isn't it? Okay, uh, it, it might uh, to some of them, yeah. but let me tell you, uh, the Christians have to blame themselves. Why? Because look, uh, there are 
thousands of Afghans here. Oh, really? From Af Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. I will call the Afghans from Afghanistan. Mm. Why they are here? Because first the Soviet Union was fighting over there. Okay, for yeah. years, and then the Soviet Union split up. So it gave those people there a chance, okay, you know, there's war going on, these people are hardship. So they came over in thousands to these countries, okay? Mm. And then uh, you, after Soviet Union broke up, because of Afghanistan, they lost there, so they broke up. And then the USA, United States of America, they were in Afghanistan for years, okay? Now, when they were in Afghanistan, and then after all those, you know, USA, uh, Soviet Union in those days was the second most powerful country, but in Afghanistan, they became finished, okay? And then in, uh, in uh, when the Soviet Union collapsed, then eventually the USA, the, 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 the first military power in the world, biggest military power, number one military power in the world, mm. they went to Afghanistan to sort them out. What happened? They lost. And eventually the Americans had to leave as well. Okay? Right. And what happened? Let me just finish that mm. answer. Thank you. And what happened? When the USA left, you might have seen on your uh, TV screens, uh, when the aircraft were leaving, people were jumping on the aircraft, even, you know, outside yeah. the aircraft. You know, why? Because, okay, to leave. Okay? And thousands came here. Right. But, but so, so, mm. so, all these different wars, mm. the war in Afghanistan, Muslim country, the war in Iraq, mm -hmm. the war in Syria, the war in Libya, the war in Sudan, all this, what happens is, it gives a genuine excuse for thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people to go to their neighboring countries yeah. and through the neighboring countries end up in Europe end up in USA. Okay? okay? Why? Another reason. Because these countries are economically strong. Yeah. So in these countries when people work, they earn more. Mm. In these countries, there's not that type of war as in like, for example, Afghanistan, Iraq, yeah, yeah. like that. You right. understand? So what happens now, eventually, is Mm. that you get so many Muslims here now because of that. So right. each time, I'm going to finish after this, sorry about that. <laughs> each time there's a war in a Muslim country, mm. you have more Muslims coming over here. Yeah, we noticed that. Okay, you want to say something? Yeah, so you're talking about they have I'm sorry, I can't hear. They, they are talking as well. All right, you, you are uh, quite spot, yeah? Come over here. Ah, she's shouting. If you want, let's go over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's quite good. Mm. Muslim, Arab, Egyptian. So, so okay. what? Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so the interesting question that I wanna, because we asked this question before. Yeah. And that is, Islam is supposed to be like a like a theocracy where it rules and like keeps the people in order. Yes. And you know, hopefully, you have peace. But then, is there a, uh, why is it, does it seem to be the case that you said about the Muslims, there's a war in a Muslim country and they come to the more affluent countries where you get more money. Yeah. But the interesting thing is, why is it that the countries which are affluent, where you can work and get more money, they're the ones based on the, the Christian faith. And so the Muslims are coming from... Muslim countries where they could start a caliphate and do the Sharia and build up a strong um, empire, you know, caliphate, uh, uh, sorry, Islamic empire. But instead of doing that, they leave the Muslim countries and come to the Christian ones where they can't start a caliphate. Does, does that 
make any sense? Uh, it does make sense. Yeah. Why? Mm. Because uh, it teaches a lesson to the countries which starts the war. Okay. How does it teach them a lesson? Mm. Because when those countries are destroyed, okay, here I'll give you an example. I am Muslim, mm. originally from Pakistan. Yeah. Why I am here? Because I am from a military family. Okay. My father was a Second World War soldier. Right. A soldier in the Indian Army. Because at that time there was no Pakistan. Yeah. So he fought for the British in the Second World War. Mm. Okay. And my grandfather was a soldier in the Indian Army, of course Muslim. But my father, grandfather fought in the battlefields of France in the First World War. Now, when these countries, they were involved in wars, they had hundreds of thousands of Muslim soldiers from India fighting for them. But, but for who though? Fighting for, uh, for example, India was ruled by the British. So all those hundreds, of, let me finish, all those hundreds of thousands of uh, Muslim soldiers in the Indian Army who fought in the First World War, Second World War, they fought because the British brought them over into the battlefields, uh, for example, First World War into France, mm. things like that. Okay? Right. Now, in the uh, Second World War, there were hundreds of thousands of Muslim soldiers fought uh, who were from the Indian Army, who were from Morocco, where the French were rulers, you know, who came from Morocco, who came from uh, uh, Algeria, who came from Tunisia, other countries, which were ruled by the French. Yeah. Okay, now, to fight for them. Now, when the Second World War finished, my father used to tell me that, you know, when the war finishes, they demobilize the armies. Yeah. In other words, they don't need that number of soldiers in the army yeah. because the war is finished. Okay. Mm. Now, what happened? Millions of people were killed. So there was a demand for labor yeah. in, uh, for workers in, in these Western countries. Well, in the uh, United Kingdom, in France, in Germany, Italy, everywhere. Mm. So, so, these who used to be soldiers, they came over here. Okay, oh, and yeah. now people uh, from other world like students, things like that, you know, or who are being persecuted, they came over after that, after those world war. Now you had the bad uh, war in Afghanistan, you had Iraq, you had Libya, you had, you know, you got Sudan, things mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. people are, uh, 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 they go away, they want peace. So they go, go away from fighting area. Now you have war in uh, Gaza, in Palestine, for example. And yeah. the Israelis, they want the Palestinians to not to stay in Rafa. They want the Palestinian Muslims to leave Rafa now. No, okay. So what that, would that mean? But, but, yeah, Will they go to Egypt? No, okay. That's, that's not what they want. What they want? They just want them to stop sending rockets over. Stop sending rockets? Yeah, if they stop Where? sending rockets, then they can just live a happy, have a happy, live happy ever after. How many rockets did uh, those uh, uh, Palestinians send over? If they sent two rockets, that's too, too many. How many Jews did get got killed? If, 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 if one Jew had their toe broken by a rocket, that's, yeah. that's one toe too many. Okay. Yeah. Did you know more than 12 thousand Palestinian children have been killed. Yeah. By who? But after the rockets came. By who? By the Israelis. Right. So where there are civilians and uh, you know that they have been bombing hospitals as well. Yeah, but we know why. So why bomb hospitals? They it's not allowed. Because the important question is who started it? Again, who started it? Yeah. When when the Germans started the war, were these people deliberately killing? And here I'm from a military family, and I've never heard it. These soldiers in the Second World War, First World War, 
uh, uh, talking about the Allied soldiers, yeah. they were not deliberately killing the civilians. Have you heard they the were not deliberately killing the... Have you heard of Dresden? Well, in some cases, yeah, of course, the uh, uh, bombings carried on, you know. But, but Dresden, but, have you heard of Dresden? I know it's a city in uh, Germany. Yeah. Yeah. And what did the Allies do to it? Okay, anyway, uh, you heard that there was an ICJ yeah. case recently, yes? Mm, yeah. So, one of your African countries took Israel to yeah, the... South Africa. Yeah, South yeah. Africa. It was African country, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Not the Palestinians, African country. So, do you think, uh, do you support the South African government who took the case to the ICJ, International Court of Justice? Well, it depends on what the case was. I'd have to read the case. Ah, so you, you haven't no, read it? No, because... Yeah, it's I've, killing I've heard... our civilians! Yeah, but you have to read the details of it, because sometimes they put stuff in, which is um, a bit... Okay, so uh, okay. Do you, know, do you know that Israel has nuclear weapons? Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, they even mentioned themselves, I think, under the, more than 120, oh, 120 nuclear bombs. Wow. But the thing is this, that... Uh, uh, their military is very powerful, yes? Uh, yeah, I suppose you could say that. So how long has the war been go going on? Since October. Over four months? Yeah. So they haven't been able to finish Hamas? Yeah, and you, and you know the reason why, because you, you mentioned hospitals, didn't you? No, they already bombed the hospitals. They told the people yeah. from the north, go to the south. The people came to the south, they start bombing the south. Now the people are in Rafa, they try uh, go out from there. Okay, so what's the reason why they were bombing the south? Were they right? No, what was the reason? Don't they, okay, why did they, uh, why, why did they come over and take over, uh, there was a Nakba in 1948 when Israel came into being, yes? Well, yes. Well, you say came into being, but you know they were living why didn't they? Why didn't they give them a part of Germany? Because there's more than six million Jews were killed by the Christians in Germany, yes? Mm. Yes? Yeah. So why didn't they punish the Germans and gave uh, part of Germany as uh, to the Jews really, to explained, live in? You just explained the reason earlier. What? The place had just been gone for a war and so they needed people to come in there. So the place is a mess. You're not going to send refugees into a mess. No, they, the, they send the Jews to Palestine, yes? Yeah, because it's, Palestine. Not, it's not a mess. Okay, right, right. But they didn't go there as workers, did they? They took over. Uh, uh, so, so who is They it? took over. Right, so who is it? Did they take over? No, they bought land before. You know about that, don't you? That the Arabs sold land. To. Okay, tell me, tell me. No, is, the, is, the, is the Israel, is the IDF, mm. the Israeli Defense Forces, yeah. are they professionals? Yes. So they are carrying the war out professionally? Unprofessional. Are they carrying out oh. the war professionally? Oh, yes, yes. So how come more than 12,000 children killed? Thousands of women killed? Because they're trying to attack the enemy. Who? Who's shooting at them. Who? Uh, uh, what they call Hamas, isn't it? So how many Hamas have they killed? All those 12,000, more than 12,000 children, were they Hamas? Uh, how old were they? Some were unborn, some were born. There's a case yesterday where a girl of six years old girl. Oh, six is quite, yeah. She was in a, what, you haven't heard? You're not sure? No, no, I don't, I don't listen. How old are children? Have you, haven't you seen unborn child have been no, killed? They, they're going to give you a range for what child means, don't, don't they? They have to give you a range. A child is a child? No, they have to give you an age range. Okay, unborn child. Yeah. A few days child. Mm -hmm. Okay, up to the age of, uh, uh, let's say, one year, two year, three year, four year, five year, six year, seven year, eight year, nine year, ten year, right, ten. eleven year, twelve year, right. thirteen years, fourteen years, fifteen years, okay, that's, sixteen that's, years. That's, yeah, they are that's, children. Right, that's, that's, yes? That's, right. So why they killed all of them? Right. They killed less Hamas than the children, isn't it? But here's the interesting thing. I anyway, I, anyway, you have tried to get my attention many times. Yeah. Today I have given you a lot of time. 
uh, now I'm going to leave you. And I am, I, you got a lot of stuff there uh, from me today. So now I'm going to leave you. I want to pray and then talk with somebody else, okay? Right. Thank you. Okay. But next time, you should try and defend your Islam faith more though. That's, that's what I believe. Don't worry, we because, can so, so defend. So you can convince, convince the Muslims we that Muslims can are, defend. Str are strong. We can strong. Look around this speaker's corner. Yeah. Is it true that there are more Muslims here than Christians? Yeah, but most of yes. them run away. Okay, fine. What do you mean run away? Answer my question. Are there in speaker's corner? Are most of the people in speaker's corner now Muslim? That's what it looks like. Right, there you yeah. are. Yeah. And, and I'm a Muslim as well, yes? Yeah. I am British, yes? Yeah, but we're trying to find right. those who don't run. That's a run from what? From talking about Islam. We want someone to defend you know, Islam, say how wonderful okay. it is, and okay. why people okay. Are, okay. Why people aren't staying in Islam. Have you ever heard of a country used to be known as Turkey? Turkey. It's still Turkey. Now it's not called Turkey, it's called Turkey. They've changed the name. Oh. Okay. Mm. Tell me. There are more than 200 countries in the world. Yeah. Tell me which army in the world is accepted as being the bravest army in the world? Uh, I suppose it would have to be Islamic State because they actually fight according to what Allah says. Okay, let me tell you. Okay. And you are wrong. The West accepts it. Mm. Okay. Okay. The bravest army, according to Western countries as well, yeah. is the Turkish army. And the Turkish army is? They are Muslims. We are brave people, okay? No, I'm talking about okay. intellect, intellectually. Well, intellectually, what do you mean? Because anyone can shoot a gun. Shoot there are so many Muslim doctors here in your countries, in America, Canada, USA, so, here, so, so United Kingdom. And, and defend Islam. And, and defend video, Islam. While, while they're not running. No, so, running so, so, no, no, you are completely wrong. You are being completely biased. I think you need a lot of education, okay? Because, because, look, Muhammad peace be upon him was an Arab. The name Allah is Arabic. The Holy Quran was revealed in Arabic. Muhammad peace be upon him, peace be upon him was Arab. Yet today, of the Muslims who are between 2 billion to 2.1 billion, mm -hmm. the vast majority of these Muslims are non-Arabs. Yeah. Okay? For okay. example, the biggest Muslim country is Indonesia. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. How many Muslims is coming up to 300 million? Okay? Uh -huh. And then the second biggest Muslim country, Pakistan. How many? 250 million, five zero, two five, 250 million Muslims. Right. They are not all Arabs. But are these Indonesians, are they true? And in your, you're not from Africa, are you? Or your ancestors were? Yeah, well, Are whenever. you from West Indies? Car yeah, Caribbean. Right, it was the, it was the Christian slave traders who brought you over to USA, to the Caribbean. Right. And now, those slave traders made you into Christians. Have you ever heard the series Kunta Kinte? Yeah. Yeah, it was an African slave, he was a Muslim. Okay. Mm. Did you know they changed their religion forcefully? Yeah. Okay, it wasn't the Muslims who brought millions of these African slaves over to USA. Because they, kept, they kept them in the region. Works region. Anyway, in the Persian today, region. today I've uh, talked enough and I know that you are uh, against Muslims. But the thing is, no matter how many people are against Muslims, mm. Islam according to the Pew Research Organization, which is USA based, yeah. is going to become the biggest religion from the year 2050 onward. So no matter what you say, mm. what you do, what you believe, you cannot stop the number of Muslims growing, rising. But Another thing, 
another thing. Yeah. You cannot, at the moment there are over 50, 50 countries which are majority Muslim. And you cannot stop the number of Muslim countries going up as well. Are they, okay. peace, are they peaceful? How many of those countries are peaceful? Tell me which uh, Christian country is peaceful. Tell me. It's over here? Yeah, tell me. Over here, there's America. Any, any. America is peaceful. Yeah. How many people murdered over there every year? Because they are peaceful. I've got you. No. You said America is peaceful. Tell me how it is peaceful. Yeah, because no peaceful. gangs in America. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but remember, there no gangs in America, USA. You know, yeah, there's gangs everywhere. It's, it's a. Huh? No, 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 don't Because right. you know that people get murdered in every single country in the world. You do know yeah, but you said America was peaceful. Yeah, but people get murdered in peaceful countries. Okay, yeah. okay. Is it true that in the USA, more people get murdered there than many other countries? Is that true? Yeah, because of the number of people there. Ah, right. Yeah. How many number of people? More people in China. What's the population of China? So see, two billion. Uh, but, but you need to study. Let me tell you. But you asked lots of questions. But you Let me tell you. Them. It's that's, over 1.3 billion in the, China. What's the population of India? But you don't answer any questions. That's what the real problem is. Uh, is no, uh, you asked like 10 so questions. Now you are not telling the truth. I've been answering you. I've been talking to you. I've given you time today. Because why? You are you are, you are Islamophobic. You carry on with your Islamophobia. Let me tell you, Islam is that you people need us. No. No. Too many of you came you over. It, you needed hundreds of thousands of Muslim soldiers to help you fight First World War, help you fight Second World War. Okay, you need us. Bus drivers, Muslim. Doctors, Muslim. Barristers, Muslim. Solicitors, Muslim. Okay, even I had grooming gangs. Yeah. So do we need grooming gangs? So in Islam, it's not allowed. Really? So who's the grooming gang? No grooming gangs in America. No okay. grooming gangs in Mexico. No right. grooming gang. So answer me. But these people. Answer me. Are there grooming gangs in the USA? I don't know. Uh, he but, doesn't know. But I know Let me tell you, here, there are. Yeah, and, yeah there and, are. Let me tell you. And the people you know, who get arrested. Let me tell you. What, excuse me. What has they been? Excuse me. I'm more educated than you, I know, okay? Oh, so give me their belief. Yeah, I've trained anything. people how to do a job. And when I used to speak, they listened. What people is? from British background, yeah. white background, listen. People from white background, listen to me. People from Asian background, listen to me. Your people from African background, listen to me, okay? Listen to and now they are supervisors. Now they are training other people, okay? So you need education. But Don't do try to give me education, okay? Okay. Anyway, to those uh, listeners, uh, this guy, usually I avoid him because, uh, yeah, so you know, I don't need to, to belittle him. What do you mean, like run? To... What do you mean, run? No. We, I told you, we are the bravest people. Run from what? Didn't they bring them to stop I have had two <laughs> men armed with knives running away from me. Are you going to call me a coward? I don't have a knife, do I? I have trained people how to fight and now they are the best. So you so think so I am a stay, coward? So stay on the fight then. You're a liar. Stay on the fight. And they feel they have been grabbed by the business. Yeah. Yeah. We all get well, yeah, which is the thing about it is that because it's uh, something that's uh, man-made, it gets in the way of the true Bible. 
old days. And, and see, what people don't realise though is that, you know, it, it might not be that he looked at me a lot in the church, but when the church passes goes to seminary, it's one of the big things they have to learn. Compared to the Germans, they're very open. So it's part, it's part of the curriculum. The Germans are very part, but it's not, it's not, it's not the whole sort of set. Yeah, but the fact that it's part of the curriculum means that they have to learn. Oh, you said curriculum? Yeah. You're talking about like Bible college or... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, actually, with me, I've been with Bible college. Because like, I, I know like, a lot of people have gone Bible college. Right. They, they, they basically, what is, they do something called... Um, I think it's constructive criticism. Yeah. They just basically tear the Bible up into pieces yeah. and then they add their own theology. I mean, really, we're not meant to. But that's we're basically not meant to build our build our doctrine on, say, a, a Bible teaching in basically man-made teaching. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be doing it on the Word. Because I know that they what they do they they tear the Bible up. They just they just add their own point of views and all that and it becomes it becomes an academic rather than a, a faith. But, but, but are they are, are they required are they required to do that to get the degree? Well that's the thing, I, I don't know exactly what they require, but when, whatever they require, mm. they, they 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 drift away from the actual words. Yeah, yeah. It's just too much too many philosophies that have added that are added to word and they, they um, it dilutes the actual, you know, the meaning. Yeah, well, yeah, the yeah. Because yeah. the thing about it is, when you, when you look at you, and these are, these are, these, I'm not saying, just not, just not for me, like, these are people that have gone, these are people that are really anointed mm. men of God that have gone to college and they say, no, don't go there, don't go oh, to right. Bible college. So I'm not just, it's not yeah, just yeah, yeah. And I can see their teachings. I mean, basically, YouTube is great. If you want to learn about, you, there's, it's all there. Well, so there's no need, there's no need to go Bible page. That's just my take anyway. Yeah, yeah. A lot of other people as well. Yeah. I just think they twist. There's a guy named David Corson. Have you heard of him? David Corson. My guy. Preacher, um, English man, pastor. Yeah. Very knowledgeable. And he refutes all like man-made teachings and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, my thing is basically spreading the gospel, living a holy life. Mm. These are really what Jesus, these are the core yeah. things. See, I just think this Trinity thing, it, it creates a division kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. I, I think when, when you kind of look at how it was with the in the Bible, especially with... Uh, I just ask you one quick question before you move on. Yeah, <laughs> you're sinful. Oh, you're, yeah, you see, that's the thing. That's the number one. 90% of Christians that I've spoken to, they all say that. But that's not, that's not true. No, but remember what John said? He said that, um, uh, this, this, is, this is a part See, this is, what you're saying is a, that's original sin. It's become, it's become some Augustine. Oh, no, 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 and, 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 just, and just while you're hitting there, like, I mean, for me, for you to say we all sin, that's a universal statement. Because you don't know every single person in the universe. Australia, New Zealand. No, you said we all sin. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah, because of what? Let me, let me use a, a little experiment. Do you steal cars? Oh, see, you just, you just answered. See what I'm saying? Though? You, you answered a direct question, and this is the thing. That's what I'm saying. So it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The sin is a choice. You can get it. Big man, what's happening? I saw a video with you, man. Yeah. Quite a few, it was quite nice, interesting. What? Yeah. Did you feel like it? Okay. Did you get in here? It's not, I, I looked in the comment section, they weren't really too pleased. Ah, uh, don't get the fan base. Yeah, Remember, yeah, the people know. in the comments said they, they sit back. Oh, no. Alright, let me see what you can do. That's yeah. fine, I, I see it with this, I'm used to it. You get used to it? Yeah. Good man. You're hanging out with a good man, Michael. Yeah. Good brother. Alright, I'll leave you to it. See you in a bit. Yeah. And I know you're going to probably refer to Paul, yeah? Paul said, everyone is sitting up. 
Because I've, 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 I've accounted for what he said. So. I just feel that like my, my personal thing is that people are people are swallowing the, people are straining at the neck, swallowing the camel. What Jesus said. I mean, even when he said to the Pharisees, "What you 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 strain at the neck and you forget the, the important things: mercy, judgment, faith, which is the core thing, the core thing, part the core part of Christianity." Yeah. Living holy, walking with Christ, walking with Christ, and stuff like that. You know, not sinning. What, what verse is it? No, I don't know. That's in it. The Lamb of God that takes the rules here. Confess, no, who he says he has no sin is a, is a liar and all that. That's what the Christians, that's what the lukewarm Christians say. They yeah. use that for an excuse. Yeah, yeah. Wrong, yeah, but, yeah, but there's a difference between having sin yeah. and being a willful sinner. Yeah. And also, in context, he's not talking about the whole world because he was talking to a, a sect of people. Do you know, like, at that time, it was a... I know you've got that smile when people say this thing, but the thing is, context. He's talking to... There was Gnostics in that time. Loads of doctrines. And basically, what he was talking, he was talking to his people, and he was saying to them, don't be lifted up. Because who... Like, like when John, like when Jesus said, he used that sin, cast the first stone. In other words, don't lift yourself up, because you guys have done wrong too. But he's not making a universal statement, do you understand? He's basically saying, don't be puffed up, because I can look at your sins, you're, you're not squeaky clean. But that, that, that's not to say that we, they, that we continue in sin, he's just basically saying that, he's basically saying, like, he's um, instructing them not to be puffed up. Yeah, but then, but that, but they're, they're, they're not willful sinners. Yeah, but notice what because you're of the people that follow him, John, are they willful sinners? They weren't. Yeah, but when you look at verse nine, it says couldn't be. They wouldn't have been following John, would they? If they were willful sinners, except the people that he was talking to. Remember, right, remember, willful sin. This is John we're talking about, and all his all his disciples. They they weren't willful sinners. Yeah, but they've sinned in the past. Yeah, but they're not willful sinners. And that's what I'm saying. To you. Yeah, but it's just like verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and yes, just forgive us yes. our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yeah, but then why is John saying us? You can say them or you. Is it yeah, us? yeah if, if, if we confess our sins. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, confessing your past sins doesn't mean that. Um, you can actually go go on sinning because in, in Hebrews it says in Hebrews 10 uh, 27 it says if we continue in sin there's no more forgiveness of sin mm. but fearful yeah, yeah. rather for expectation yeah so you're gonna you're gonna say then we can continue in sin you see because then there's a point there's a there's a threshold isn't there mm. there's a point of time where we can exhaust God's grace yeah and then he can wash our hands wash his hands so that doesn't that doesn't help, you see what I'm saying? That doesn't help that. Yeah, yeah, and, the, and, the, yeah, and the Bible says, let your yay be yay, and your nay be nay. Because yeah. when I asked you, are you a, are you a car thief? You said no, straight away. Yeah, but I think what the problem is, is that uh, sin so, isn't that clear cut. No, nah, it is, it is, it's a choice. Yeah, but I think there's... He's remember, talking about mental sins, he's talking about sins. No, no, because remember what James said about um, 
because this is like the most complicated one I've seen. I mean, what scene are you struggling with, basically? Then? I mean, I could just be like loads of philosophical arguments and to refute the point of the thing. Or to refute that, basically, the original sin claim yeah. that we're all sinners, but we're not. I mean, me, me personally, I don't sin. And to say that everyone's a sinner, you know, to say that everyone's a sinner, that's a universal statement. No, no, but like I say, I just go by. I know you, you mean that metaphys metaphysically, metaphorically. So. No, I, I don't go that deep. Like, obviously, what John is saying is it's not deep, it's simple. No, but that's, that's the thing, it's simple though, because, like I said, I've sinned, but that doesn't mean I, I am a sinner because I've sinned. John, that's what I'm saying. So, it's not a. So, do you think it's okay to do something that God, God hates? God doesn't approve of? Because. Well, then we, we have to stop it though, don't we? Yeah. So, I don't understand why. What, what your claim is that we're all sinners. Um, remember, I don't know. Uh, my claim is just whatever John said. I'm not making an independent claim from what, is, what I just read. Yeah, but if you look, if you look logically, it doesn't hold. If, if you're saying that you're a sinner, where do sinners go? Do they not go to hell? Yeah, but God hates sinners. So you're, you're saying you are what God hates. Yeah, but you see, what you do is you're trying to be too. You're trying to. No, to define it no, in, in I'm a not. logical this is a, way. No, it's not even logical. It's just, yeah, yeah, it's a logical way, but it's simple because this is a Roman Catholic teaching. It doesn't, and it doesn't hold up. Okay, it's almost like let me. I'll, I'll use this example. If somebody, you have somebody who goes to play football in a park, but then you have a professional footballer who plays football week in week out. Is that person who goes to the park, who plays football now and again, is he a footballer? Oh, in some people's eyes, he might be. No, because he doesn't play football week in week out. Let, let me just correct what I said. Somebody can be struggling with sin while they're a Christian. That's different. But they're not choosing willfully to go to. They're not. It's not a premeditate, premeditation to continue to, to go and sin week in week out. That person's not a sinner. They may struggle with sin, where they may sin maybe now and again, but they're not actually a sinner. That's that, see, that's a different. See, that's different. Yeah. I, what What are you though? That's the thing. That's the question. Are you somebody who decides that they're going to sin and does it? Does it? We can we can, or you're a person who struggles with sin. What I'm trying to look for is this example here with James is a good one. Is um, I feel like you're hiding, or you're not giving me like no, because I'm looking for text to read. I'm not trying to think of. Yeah, yeah, I can bring up so I can bring up text that matter more than one. Yeah, yeah, and I can refute the I can see the text. Yeah, 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 I can refute the text, and I can bring text as well too. So, let's go with this one. So this is, um, this is James 2 and 8. It says, If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. You do well. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sins and are convinced of the law as transgressors. So what's it mean by that? So basically, what you're saying that if they say so that person there is committing sin, who are you talking about? This is what James said. I'm reading the text right Right, but there's, there's many ways to commit sin though, that's what I'm saying, there's, there's trespass, like in the Old Testament there was trespass sin, that wasn't willful sin was it? And that was forgiven. Yeah, no, but notice what he said, he said, if you have respect to persons, you commit sin. Where did he say that in the Old Testament? With, with James, but again, but the thing with James is that James is not Jesus. You see, that's the thing, Jesus didn't, James didn't die for me. Jesus doesn't say anything like that. James, could that book came after Jesus. So I don't really. I said this to all, so that that gets shelved to me. Yeah, because if it and if it doesn't line up with Jesus, because and like I said, if you're a sinner, a willful sinner, in the Old Testament there was no forgiveness for that. What happened in the Old Testament? They were cut off. Would you finish which one? No, it was any sin, any willful sin, even. Choose because of willful sin, knowing to do something when it's wrong. Yeah, you mean, you mean ignorant? 
No, that, no, not ignorant. That's trespass. Trespass sin. It's ignorant sin. Yeah. That's when somebody sins not knowing that they've sinned. That yeah. was forgiven. Yeah. But not willful sin. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So God doesn't. God doesn't approve of willful sin. No. So obviously by the scriptures and by what happened in the past. Yeah. Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't just to send somebody to, to, to hell, to send somebody to hell who can't stop doing what they're, they're doing wrong. Mm. It's obviously a choice. You know, Paul, Paul said, I could do all things with Christ, it's great for me. Romans 6.1, so we continue in sin while grace abounds. And I just gave him Hebrews 10.27. We continue in sin, there's no more forgiveness. Yeah, so, so this is the next one. It's, um, James 4 and 13 says, uh, Go to now, ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and give gain. Whereas you know not that shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapour that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. For well, that you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Right, okay. And again, Jesus never said nothing like that. So, but you see what I'm saying? It is the right criteria though, because if Jesus didn't say anything like that, and, and the thing is, like I said, because it, what, why, I, why identify yourself with something that God takes you? Because it, in Psalm 5.5, 5, God takes you with works of iniquity. So you're choosing to identify yourself with something that God takes you. Yeah, but I think what I'm doing though is that you're, you're not narrowing what? things down. No, but you are because you're not accepting what James is saying. Because James isn't being really narrow. Because I use an example, right? So if somebody knows to do good and doesn't do it, right? I'm trying to think of another example. So if I if I if I if I'm trying to um, yeah, no, there's one from the Bible. Remember what Jesus said about the um, uh, the one who wants to bury his uh, parents. Right. And also the other one is remember when Peter didn't want to do the feet washing. Right? In both of those instances, Jesus gave a direct ruling. Yeah, the, 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 feet, the, feet, the feet wash is not a command, by the way. You do know that. No, 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 I'm talking about, uh, I should have said the, uh, the funeral. The and, uh, wine. With the funeral, the guy didn't go, yeah, he did. He did. The, the guy didn't go very much. He didn't. He wanted to go, oh, but he never went in the end. Yeah, but the point is that Jesus did give him a as a direct ruling. Like, he, he said after. He didn't. The, the guy wanted to bury his, his relatives. And then Jesus said after, who goes, you know, uh, let the dead bury the dead, right? Yeah. So he, 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 never, he, never, he never went in the end. That's what I'm saying. And Jesus said it after he went. So that could have been like maybe. He, he might not have known, he, he wanted to do something, but he, never, he might not have known that was a, against the rules. Because it's not necessarily a sin to want to go and bury your relatives. But Jesus said he had other priorities, there were more important things to do. Yeah, but I'm trying to explain what James said here. James, James is saying, if you know what you're doing, do this or not. So he's the way the guy's going to do it. Yeah, but even so that was the case, someone can be in a situation where they're scared to do something, right? but they, and then they choose not to do it because they're scared, right? and, then they, and then they sin, right? as a result. Yeah, but that doesn't make them a sinner. They just, they, they, like I said, they're struggling, like I said before. They were overcome by a situation, and they, but they didn't, they didn't, you see what I'm saying? They didn't actually medit um, you know, decide to go and sin premeditatively. They just got overcome by a situation like Peter when he denied Christ. Right. He sinned, but he, Peter's not an actual sinner. Do you understand? 
just because, some, just because somebody sings, that doesn't make them national. Because here's the thing, was no real sinner. No one? Yeah. Well, what's it? What's up? No, I mean, was, was he a sinner though? No, of course he, he wasn't. At the time, or before the flood. He wasn't a sinner, was he? That's not what I'm saying. But he sinned. Yeah. No one sinned, do you know that? Yeah, afterwards. No, he sinned. Yeah, he, whether it was afterwards or not, he sinned. But he wasn't a sinner. Because yeah. God said he was perfect. Yeah, but what's talking about the person that can't say? No, he's not, he's not talking about because he wouldn't say no was perfect because. Um, oh, you mean after the, the flood, right? Genesis 9. Yeah, the same thing happened with Job. Remember, God said that Job was a perfect, upright man. Then, when he came in the whirlwind, he started to complain now to Job. So, you know. Yeah, but Job never sinned, by the way. No, but God was complaining about what, what, the way that they were talking about, about it. Yeah, but that wasn't a sin, though. It's, it's okay to. No, uh, no, no, God, see that's the thing, people get this so mixed up. I know Job, I know his book because people criticise Job. He never sinned, all it was is God was chastising him because of his uprightness. But he never sinned, he was perfect because, because, and, and God was rebuking his friends. It's yeah. his friends he rebuked, not Job. Yeah, I know, but he was chastising Job. Yeah. Because the Bible says the Lord chastises those who he loves. Yeah. Revelation 3.19. Yeah, but if someone was like a perfect robot, God would need to chastise him. Yeah, but yeah, but that's the thing. Ch God chastising someone doesn't mean they're a sinner. He's just working with them. Because, like I said, he chastises. Them. It says it. In, it says in Hebrews. He chastises them um, to bring out holiness for holiness and righteousness. Not, not necessarily because they've done something wrong. See, so he wouldn't be calling them holiness if they were doing something wrong. Yeah. See, God. I just think. I've heard, trust me, this is not. This is not my. This is not new to me. A lot of people get this mixed up. It's a different, it's the wrong category. What, what, what would be better is for you to say that you're carnal and your propensity is a sin. And that you've sinned in the past, right? But that doesn't necessarily make you a sinner. It's a, de it's a defeative attitude. I, I, sorry, I didn't shower you, did I? No. Yeah, it's, it's, it's what I'm saying. It's defeatism to say that you're a sinner and to say that you're something that God hates. I'd say that you're carnal. We're all carnal. What's that? Yeah, because we, yeah, but we've inherited the, the carnal nature from Adam, which gives us the propensity to sin. We can't we have carnal flesh? But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a sinner. It's almost like saying that um, I used to go to I used to go to um, secondary school, right? So because I went to secondary school, I, I don't go there now, obviously. So that, that means I still go to secondary school because I went there in the past. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And, he, and, and like I said, there's a, there's a, you see, because we're, we're out, we're out of school, so it's not going to, it's not going to add up and judgment there, because when we're given knowledge, you know what willful sin is, like I said, if you're struggling with sin, personal sin where, you know, between you and God, it's something where, you know, you're struggling to overcome, that's different. Mm. But if you're deciding to do willful sin, that's a problem. Because that's, and that's the thing. So, so, so what are you? What one are you? What, what category are you? Yeah, but I think this is what the problem is. Is that so so you're, you're not you're not answering me. That's the thing. Use the word category. No, no, it's, it's very simple. No. Are you? Remember, you rejected James. So it's already. That's that's it. No, but the thing is, is that it's clear in the Bible. God hates sin. Psalm 5, 5, He hates works of iniquity. He sends people to hell. That's, you see, that's the, that's the, that's the destination for sinners. So if you're a sinner, that means you're on your way to hell by, by your admission. That's not because James will die for me, though. That's agreement. Yeah, I can't say that. It's, it's, it's so not. Weird. It's not. It's not like a. It's not like I'm throwing him under the bus or anything like that. But it's, it's a. It's a. It's a legit criteria. But the, 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 the thing is, because the thing is, I can accept this. James said. James said. Um, uh, faith works is dead. Right? Yeah. I accept that because Jesus taught faith. So I don't. I don't reject all what he said. I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing him out. I'm not afraid of throwing the baby out the bathroom. Huh? I'm just saying that particular verse. So, Jesus so, I'm, so I'm using. I'm using extractions basically. But you sift in the wheat from the tank. Yeah, but did Jesus teach works? Yeah. Like what? 
No, because it works as a works as a reflection. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Right? And he said to God, what's his commandments? Go out and preach. That's a form of work. And not only that, he said faith is he said faith is a work. He actually said faith is a work. Um, John 6 29. So there you go. So I accept that. I accept that. And he says, so, so, so I, say, I, don't, I don't reject all of what James said, but I accept what lines up with Jesus. It says it in John. No, well, what did you say? Is it faith, faith is a work. I don't know. It says, it says that in the King James Bible. I'm not sure about the other Bible versions. What version do you have? King James. Do you have the King James? Yeah. I know. I know for sure it says it in um, John six. So it, it might be. I know for sure it says it's a work. Speaking about, it might be in. Um, but yeah, and like I said, you still haven't answered me because when I asked you, are you a car thief? You said no. Yeah, because it's very really clear cut. And the Bible does say that you're yay, be yay. So if you ask me and I'm, I'm asking, I'll say, I'll say no. No, but the problem is, unless, 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 and another thing, what, what people do is they say, they um, they say things that are a sin when they're not necessarily a sin. So they put an unnecessary, an unnecessary yoke on themselves. Maybe what you're thinking is sin is not necessarily a sin. But when you disagree with what James says. Which one? Which, what verse? Not, not, not faith. No, yeah, I'll reject the, um, if he knows to do sin, yeah. and who knows to do right and doesn't do it, it's sin. I mean, let's just go with that anyway. And like I said, that, like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody's a sinner. No, no, no. Because they, they seem wrong. And like I said, just like I said, no. And even if, and even if, so when Noah was on the boat, yeah, and that was after the flood. And that was after when Jesus said he was perfect. But, if it, but the thing is, is that Jesus, God knows, God knows the future, doesn't he? He knows the future from the end. He knows the end from the beginning. He would never have said no one was perfect if no one was going to sin more in the future. He would never have said that. Because he's perfect. God is perfect. Do you see what I'm saying? So he wouldn't say, he wouldn't say a statement like that. Like, um, like for instance, he never said Jonah was perfect. And Jonah sinned quite a few times because he, dis he disobeyed God, didn't he? And he went on to the boat. Yeah. Fled. You have to show me this verse. You said you were showing me the verse. Yeah, you were trying to find. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, oh, like, yeah. Um, yeah, faith is a word. Faith, faith, yeah. Well, well what is it? Is, is, oh, yeah, is, is it really on him? Well, maybe in some translations, they believe on him, they, they make that research. Well, no, it definitely says. Definitely says. This is the word of God that you believe on him, whom he has sent. So they say that the work of God is to believe Jesus. Yeah, and then I think after that he says works to believe. Yeah, yeah, works is to believe. See? Yeah. There you go, so it's a, so it's a, so it's a work. Yeah, yeah. Works is to believe, which is faith. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Mm. If someone, if someone didn't have faith, they wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah. So I, that's why I agree with what, what James said. Um, faith right where it's dead. So, so, so you're saying belief without... Oh, no, faith without belief is dead. So that's how you see it. You, however you want to put it. I agree with that whole verse. Right. Yeah, so there's no contention. There. So yeah. I'm gonna, like I said, I'll ask you again. So are you, are you a willful sinner or... Are you someone who's just struggling? And what, what's the thing you're struggling with? You know, what's the yeah, what I'm saying is that... I don't Still, know about what James said. Yeah. No, because I believe what James said, that's the thing. No, but you can, answer, yeah, but you, can, you can believe what James said and still give me a straight answer. That's the thing. No, but by saying whether 
by telling me what sin you're struggling with or whether you're a uh, uh, willful sinner or sinful. No, no, you just have to give me a straight answer. No. Just like what Jesus said. Say your name. Jeff. It's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not legalism, it's not self-righteousness, you know, because, nah, it's not, never, not, not to give a, not to give a straight answer, you see? Yeah, yes or no, if you used to ask me, or even if you, if you used to ask me if I'm sinning or not, if I'm giving a straight answer, I'll say, oh, I'm, st I'm struggling with this sin, or I'm a ruthless sinner. Right, right, here's what we have to do, right? No, I'm in the hospital. And I remember looking on the sheet uh, where it's got this list of illnesses and the sheet was long. So these are all the different names that they have for the different illnesses that people can have and this is one of them. No, but even, even if they even if they have they have, they either, they either have an illness or they don't. Simple. No, but they've got names. No, but that doesn't for the symptoms. That doesn't negate whether someone whatever illness they have, they have an illness per se. Yeah, but and they should they would answer yes. If I was to answer them, ask them they have they have an illness they tell me yes. Yeah, so the point is that what you're asking for is the same thing about this doctor. Now what go on the list, all the way down and find like a thousand things I find. So yeah, I'm up to that, this, that. That's really, what you're asking. No, I really, I, me personally, I really think you're ob ob obsugating. Oh, no, that's actually that what you're asking. But, so, you are what? Go down that this part of the, in the hospital. And if you want me to read off the ones on the, on the, the long list, that's what you're asking. No, I'm just going to ask you to give me a yes or no one. Yeah, on the long list. That's the only way that I can give you a yes or no. Yeah. No, but again, I asked you if you're a carpenter, you said no. So I don't yeah, know. because that's one on that long list. Isn't it? It's not on the list. No. Carpenter's not on the list. So, no, you're talking about illnesses there. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, yeah, because I'm trying to um, link it with what you're asking. Okay, then, so if you stand, if you stand before a a God on Judgment Day, yeah. and he asks you, did you sin? Willfully? Yeah, bring James out and say, this is the thing. So you think God is? Yeah. So he's not gonna... I've never come across somebody who has so many answers, but it doesn't go on answer. It's funny. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, man. I've made, you know, I've, I've asked my question. You know, we've, we've had our, we've had our discussion. We've had our discussion. Don't worry, I'll But we will all have to answer each other. We can't, we can't, we can't move around. No, he won't eat it. He's not gonna. He's not gonna say what James said. He's gonna be talking to you straight away. Don't, no one. No one else is gonna be there. It's just gonna be you and speaking. No, that's something. You know, I'm not saying he won't speak. I'm just saying. So I'm not saying he's necessarily.
I support it! I support it! Because the church
money went to the hip hop. You got to sell like us. I was minding my own business. This young man is laughing. He's accusing me. He's going to abuse me. Racist comment. Muhammad plus. Jesus. This relationship should be happy with this. What is the law? What is the message of Jesus? You don't hate you. You don't hate you. You don't hate you. You don't hate you. That's what you're doing. You are, 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 you No, no, no. Hey, listen. Yalla, 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 yalla. He just called me dog. Yalla. Yalla. It's a speech of freedom. That's Islam. You don't care. We care. Ah. We care. Yes. Yeah, we care. Yes. 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 You talk about human nature. You talk about human nature. That's human nature. That's human nature. That's human nature. That's human nature. And you say Islam is okay. You say you know. Yes, you know. Okay. Yalla, yalla. 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 You don't know what's going to happen to these people. Let me do this. He's fucking Satan. <laughs> Maybe if I should. So there's there's end time language. That's the reason why Jesus returned. Not not like at the time, not specifically at the time. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then another. And then another. Is that true?
I gave him the hoodie. No, 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 no. I, I gave him the hoodie. Yes. Let me finish. I gave him the hoodie. And he rejected, he rejected the hoodie. No, 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 no. 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 He's now saying, well, how do we know the case of Chiquita? No, but Muhammad said that the Quran was revealed. But there's a hadith where the Prophet is conversing with the from the world. And he's saying, give me another, and another, and another, because he learns. Yes. No, 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 you're right, Will. But even in that hadith, you're right. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yes, yes, exactly, yeah. And he says that the Quran is revealed in 700. That at least shows there's two new citations. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. But then he goes, and then the Quran was revealed in 700. And he doesn't want to, doesn't believe me. By the way, you know the purpose of the Quran is to say that the Quran is very clear. What does that say, Will? To make it easier. So it's not Can necessary. Keep reading. Keep reading. This is the opinion. It's not necessary to preserve all of the seven. It's meant to in Arabic it's called Ruxas. Ruxas means concession. What was the English word in this? I mean, you know, you know when it comes to hadith, I can't attribute everything to the Prophet. Once you know the so the hadith is sunnah. It's the meaning. But you know when you're in ethnicity, and to be a Jew, no, in here, to be a Jew, no, 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 whether you like it or not, he is God. You don't read the Bible. You don't understand. Picture. Read it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut I know you, I know you, I know you. Plus is four wives. Plus is four wives. Four wives on earth. Four wives. Four wives on earth. Seven to the bridge in heaven. What about a woman? Zero. I want to go to Jannah. No, you will never get Jannah. You will never be in Jannah. Never. You'll be in a tank. Exactly. Is that really about God and heaven? What, what are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Okay. What are you gonna get? No marriage. Nothing. No marriage. Eternal life of Jesus Christ. No marriage. You don't, you don't want anything. Heaven. Heaven. You don't want anything in heaven. In heaven you don't want anything. In heaven you don't need anything. You're in heaven. What you want? Why are you in heaven? Ah, you 
Jesus, I worship Jesus. I hope you will never bow down. Jesus, I will never bow down. Never. I will never bow down to your God. I preached one way. Muhammad is dead. Why is Muhammad dead? I I will never see him. You know, you will never come to you know how many children never. have been defiled by your charge, you stupid you, idiot. You don't know that. Thank you, Jesus. In Egypt, thank you, Jesus. In Egypt, thank you. Thank you. I have to swear this. Oh, 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 no, it says don't. No, no, no. Forget. Don't, your God? Don't, don't, God? I don't follow your God. Don't point, don't point, don't point. You know how many be defiled? You know how many be defiled? You don't be defiled, man. You don't be defiled. You don't be defiled. You don't be defiled. You don't be defiled. You don't be defiled, man. You don't be defiled, man. Be defiled. That's not our authority. Muhammad is your authority. Pope is not our authority. He's gay. That's not our authority. You're not our authority. You're not our authority. It's not our authority. You don't look up to him. You don't look up to those people. Jesus Christ. 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 Jesus But his dumb head don't understand that. His big head doesn't understand that. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, this is rejected, isn't it? You don't want to speak to you! Do you want to speak to you? Do you want to speak to you? Mama, leave him, leave him. leave him. You don't want to speak to you! Mama, Mama. When the prophet done with rules, he kissed his wife, that's not part of the rules. You used to But then when it comes to that, when it comes to that, when it comes to that, when it they, 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 they don't, that, that's what I'm saying. Look, Quran is, is in itself enough. You actually die. You, 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 it's not enough. It is enough. It's not enough. It makes a claim. It's a self revealing life. Uh, all right. If you say the Quran's enough, uh, how many times have you said prayer? In the Quran, it says there's three distinctive kinds of prayer. In the Quran, it's three. So you reject one? If you just pray five, that's up to you. But the Quran is not the Sunnah. The Sunnah, the sunnah doesn't have law or power over the Quran. The Quran is the word of God. Now say, I've got So the Quran says the calculation for Ramadan is based on a lunar calendar. So a lunar calendar is based on 29 or 30 days. And then how do you know when the the Quran says you have the new crescent moon. So, so the, the crescent dictates the end of the month and the start of the month. So, so new crescent moons, do you know the lunar calendar? Are you aware of the lunar calendar? Okay, so, so then if you haven't studied it, then... How long is a lunar month? No, a lunar month by visibility calendar. Come on, come on. 
Yeah. Who's the Jew man? No, no, here, look, come here, come here, come here. No, I'm what? who's the Jew man? Come here. He said, he said that Jewish man, he, he said, said we should wipe every single Hamas person. Listen, listen. From, the, from Palestine. He, 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 he said, <laughs> Asa, but the Quran is enough, you don't need the Hadith. The Quran is enough. So no, you guys, are, you guys are Hadith projectors. So I'm, I'm just, I want to finish with no, this. No, no, let me finish asking the question. Come on, sir. The Jew man before that, he said, I should have called him. When someone, the, the, the Quran is enough. No, when someone, because I always ask that. So it's not disabled. He doesn't need the. You don't need a messenger. You know he couldn't answer the question. Yeah? When it comes to wudu, you go into the hadith and the prophet done wudu and he kissed his wife. So now you have to say, is this part of the wudu? They say no. They use the intellect to reject one part and make a distinction. So when it, when you showed me that hadith, he says Jibrail said one. Now, if you use your intellect, Jibreel is a messenger of who? God, coming to a human being. Yeah. So he's saying he's one. So the rest of it, that's what he wanted, but that's not what God wanted. Because to the man. So he he doesn't. So, no. So yeah, yeah, so you human, human being cannot dictate to God. If God has look, if God has decided there's one, you can't change it even if you're a messenger of God. Do you understand that? Imagine for example you're a messenger. Let's say for example God's come to you. What's your name? Will. Will. You said God's spoken to you. You make no You can't go against him. He sent his messenger and you can't say, well I don't want, I want something else. It doesn't work like that. Yeah? All this nonsense comes in. But that solves it. No, it's the privation of idiots like that who don't use the internet. Because the Quran says it's not it's for thinking people. The Quran says for what? The Quran is for what? The Quran is for who? The thinking people. He invites you to think. Let me kill this duo. And I'm going to sit there and so, 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 when the sun have a conversation with the world, so Jesus had a conversation, so he had a conversation with the world. Let me explain to you what prayer is. There's no other way to say it's not to USA being like the, the kind of world peace we'll hang, hang on, hang on. We can talk about the Matthew that, but they're always, or, or the last majority of the time, they're acting in that kind of capacity. What they're doing is maybe toppling the things. In the interfering or, 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 or intervening in wars that other people start, in wars that where there's uh, one side aggressing against the other, and the USA, well, if I were to come with my friends and attack you and your family, and then the peace comes with our, or the army comes and they kill me and my friends it is not the army that is creating for all who is responsible for the deaths of me and my friends it is me and my friends who is responsible I reject the authority of the USA I reject the authority of the USA any of the you can't wear this cup you can't wear this cup if they can do it why can't everyone else the point is they don't do it because they do not they just do it for the USA you're scared of all the questions Chile how many countries do you do you mean what? Just what they done? They've been to zero. Where the was? Where the was? You've you caught it so many times. Now you can see it so many times. You're too graceful. You just let him. Oh, 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 do you understand my point? I'm not, I'm, I mean, all over the place. Question, all over the place. Says, you know, having to make a point about, you know, Americans being involved in America, in Afghanistan. Everywhere, everywhere. But I'm, I'm not American, I'm not Jewish. So why me? Why, 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 why my people? Why my people? No, I'm the same. Who gives them the right to do that? I'm the most prime minister. I can't go into your house. I cannot go into your house. Your rules, my house. It's to everyone. I can't go into your house and say, this is how you must live your life. Because if you come into my house, and they're, not, they're, not, they're, they're not doing that. They're, 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 they're Iraq, right. Afghanistan, Yemen, Syria, on that is well, a complete mischaracterization. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. The they're they're not the coming into your house and telling you how to live your life. Sorry. What, what if I say I'm Afghan? And, and what what they're doing house. is, what they're doing is, when they see you beating your wife, they say, hey. Do not beat your wife. That's what they do. They're not coming uh, to your house. Yes, but when they're not alive. Americans do not care about human 
human rights. Let's put that there. America does not care about human rights. Religion teaches that more. If they were the human rights, when Rwandans were asking, please help us, they said, we have no they're not, they're not helping you now. I'll, I'll so you, so now you're arguing they're not helping you now. I mean, look at you. Look at you contradicting you yourself. Don't, now you're arguing. Go to your point. Now, now, now I want to say one little thing. This has always puzzled me. I live in a very high uh, Jewish occupation, not occupation, Jewish resident area. Now, when I'm on YouTube and I see children crying, shaking, and their mums just being killed with their dad, when you see this thing as a Jewish person, how do you feel when you see this? That's what I'm asking. I, 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 I refuse to answer the question phrased that way. Why? Yeah, tell me, tell us. Because, because there's no, as a Jewish person, as if Jews are somehow different to any other. Yeah, but why, if, if why are the Muslims ask that question every day in the news and stuff? No, let him finish. Let, let the man finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Sorry, sorry. But slowly, have, we have to be respectful. Yes, so all I'm asking is, if I see, well, I want to know if I see a child crying. No, you know, when, sorry, on the wall. When you see a child crying, how do you feel as a, as a human being? As a human being, I feel like crying myself. Great. You know, me too, as a human being. So, so when you see that, as a Jew, don't, don't, it's not about Jew. Yeah, no, but, Jew is a human being. Yeah, but as you see it on YouTube and you see your people who you're supporting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing this and you see thousands of children, then you say, oh, can't, we can't build a holy land on a land of oh, graves of okay, children. So now, I'm gonna now, now, now switch around. Now, now what you now. Yeah. How do you feel? Do they build the same things at the same time? Or do they build different? I can't hear you say, oh, we should do more. <laughs> human attribute, whatever is human, we are feeling. That's exactly my point. So they are three different wills. Can they conflict? Can they fight themselves? Can they fight against each other? No, you had to do this, you said no, you had to do this. Because it's at this That person will consistently have enemies. And he 
But the Quran is alone. I said the Quran. You get physical first, or did you get physical? He's the witness. He didn't do anything. No, he's the witness. He'll tell you. He starts swearing. Fuck off. He first starts swearing. And then if you do that, and then you push. And then water push. Huh? And then you pour water. I think he wanted to kill me. <laughs> what did he say? There he is, though. Yeah, yeah, I see. What did he so say? I said, look, look. I am Quran. Yeah. Quran is alone. I take the hadith as like historical fact. Yeah, so the Quran is alone on its own. You can put the Quran in the Amazon jungle and someone can pick it up and it's enough to guide. Is that, yeah. is that all you said? Yes. No, but then he said, we were talking about Ahruf. Yes. So I said, the Quran, Allah says, the Quran was given to Akal. Akal. Without Akal, you can't understand the Quran. Okay. You guys, so, the, so the argument was. You guys are better than the Salafi. Okay. Okay. Is he Salafi? I don't know that. He's yeah, yeah, Salafi. Salafi. Jesus. The one next to him is Salafi. Very Salafi. He's Salafi. Yes. So look. There is holes in your nose. There is one big hole. Which? Because right now, I can bring the kitab, the house. Right? This is what we're talking about the house. Yeah. And I can bring the kitab, Shu'bah, and I can be, bring the kitab, the, the one in Morocco. What is it? The, the war. It's famous, yes. Yeah. Become famous. It has the name as well. In the Ladina Yabkalun. We go to the verse. In the Ladina Yabkalun. Wa ya'maruna nasa bin ruh. Wa man yatawalla. Fa inna Allah huwa. In, in the one uh, they read in Morocco, there is no hua. Yes. In Allah al Ghani al Hamid. Yes. This is a very good. Very now, which of these house. are from Allah? House. House. Why do you say house? Who is Morocco? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's not wait, wait. Morocco, Morocco become Arabic country after. Morocco, 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 Morocco,
thought we had 20 I don't know. Yes. I thought we had 20 Now it's one of the Yes, 26. This is This is my first one. That is the Which one is from my What is from my mind? I'm going to listen to me. I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to you. Yes. Very careful, very
And as this guy carries on, please join me in the prayer to the non-existent God. Please, God, turn this guy to the non-existent Not this willingly, and to me. And if Ukraine doesn't do so, the Russians do so. And he says, I realize I'm a homosexual. I will be a bad When you are burning in hell for eternity, I don't think you're going to be laughing. Yes, 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 yes,
you don't know him. You don't know him. Yes. You know the devil. I was born where Jesus was born. I am from Bethlehem, from Palestine. I was born in the same place where Jesus was born. But now you don't know Jesus. Someone's going to get it. She want trouble. And look, she want trouble. And you go give her trouble. This is not one of the best. This is not one of the best. This is not your best. This is not your best. Thank you very much for helping. Thank you very much. You're a Sunni now. Thank you very much. I can also spit. I can also spit. You're working for them now. So tell them, them to yeah. shut up. Yes, yeah, so, so, so your official. Don't tell, so you tell them I'm a woman. Okay? I'm not their mother. I'm not going to open their leg like their mother, okay? I'm a woman and I will defend myself as a woman. Shut up. Before any religion, I'm a woman. And don't touch my patience. I'm going to break your head. Split your head like that idiot pedophile split it. Don't touch me as a woman. Don't touch me as a woman. Go and give it to your wife. 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 My hands in my pocket. Go and do it with your wife. I am a woman. Before I believe in any religion, I will break your head. I'm telling you. You're gonna break my head, man. Yes. So I'm a woman before I believe in any religion. Why do you do that? They don't accept orthodoxy. This is Did you see what happened? 
Yeah. They are the Pharisees. You know when Jesus came down and he called out the Pharisees? You know when Jesus called out the Pharisees, what did they do? They wanted to kill him, innit? They tried him and put him on the cross. Yeah. That's the same ideology. Yeah, but the one thing though is that Jesus quoted from the Old Testament and even say, say and, I, and I was quoting from the Quran, but he rejected it. Yeah, but remember what you're saying. You have a problem with the. You said there's three prayers. No, in the Quran there's three. I was quoting Quran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's the Quran's three prayers. But then, what are you saying about the Christian rule? That's in the Quran, yeah. Yeah, but how many times does the Christian rule show up in the, the New year? Crescent? The new crescent. Yeah. The new crescent only appears once. Right. So it so it says about what's about the new crescent? It's in Surah Al-Baqarah. I think 185 or something. 180 something. They ask you about the new crescent. It's in the plural. They look. They ask you about the new crescents in the plural. So he's rejected, rejected you as well. Because he's come out of Islam. Huh? He just believes in God. That's it, nothing else. Right. He's become a theist. He's gone a bit too far. And he said he's holding your narrative. Right, but for the first one, they ask you about the new crescents. What I'm saying to you is a measurement of time. Look, listen. They asked the Prophet about the new crescents. And Allah answered them. God answered them. And He said it's a measurement of time. So you calculate the month for Ramadan, for Hajj, for the pilgrimage. Yes, the month of Ramadan, in which was revealed the Quran, the guidance for the people, the clear proofs of guidance. Is he going to go to the public? No, no, the, the touch. If you, if you press too long, it, it does not. If you do it quick. They ask you, so, they, so the companions came and asked him, God mm. answer, about the new moons, the yeah. crescents. Mm. They had the word in Arabic. Ahilla, you know what I mean? What? New moons. So then you know, new, if you know anything about lunar month mm. or uh, astronomy, the new crescents of the start, the start of the new, the new crescent doesn't appear in one place everywhere at the same time. It appears at different times in different places, either on the 29 or 30 days. A lunar calendar has 29 or 30 days. So in some places it appears on the 29th, in mm. some places it appears on the 30th. So for example, over here, on the, today's the 29th actually. Today's, so at, at sunset, you look in the sky and you see a new crescent. Yeah? That's how they calculate, before modern age. Yes, that's how they calculate the calendar. So when you see a new crescent, you declare the month. And if you don't, do, if you don't see it, if you don't see it, then you declare 30 days. So that's the Islam. That's the calendar. It's a lunar calendar. Yeah? All right, but, but remember, we, we want to find out about. Um, so what? Do you, what's your question? What do you want to find out? Well, it's simple. So you mentioned here about Ramadan. Yeah. So Ramadan is in this month prescribed. This month. <laughs> yeah. Which? A month. Oh, oh, a lunar right. month. 29 right. or 30 days. All right. Let's, let's read through this uh, Quran. See if we can work out. All right, so then you have the decreed upon you is fasting, as it was decreed upon those yes. before you, that you may become righteous. Yes, so it's for righteousness, not to just to, not for keto diet. Uh, uh, not, uh, do you understand? Uh, not for keto diet. Yeah, uh, you know what righteousness is? Yeah, yeah, no, but for willpower. So, yeah, so you, so, so, you so, submit to God. Right, so, so as a, as a non-Hadith Muslim, how do you describe what it means when it says decreed upon you is fasting as it was decreed upon those before you? Yes, yeah, so you fast. Yeah, so that's no, a general no. fast. And then it talks about fasting in the month of Ramadan. Yes, that's what we're doing. So... Yeah, here, look, look. For a number of days. 
limit. Yeah. No, the Ramadan one's further down. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it was. Yeah. yeah, there. So it's. So Let him fall. Yeah. So that one. The month of Ramadan, in which was revealed the Quran, the guidance of the people, the Hebrews. Yeah, so, so whoever cites the month. But his, yeah, but his interesting thing, he says, whoever cites the month. It's English, yeah. In the Arabic, it means, it means what it means in Arabic. Yeah. When you, did, when you witness the month, not cite you witness this is Ramadan. Month, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he says, says whoever cites the month. How do you cite it? You don't cite a month. The new moon. Yeah. You have to use the other verse to connect it to this verse. Uh -huh. So that's the tapir, isn't it? Does that mean you have to be a scholar? No. no. Just do it. I'm a scholar though, I like you. You have to be a scholar. Because the Quran is for scholars. Right. Right. So you've got dig, dig, dig. Yeah. Well, you, you, right. But what is it? He said the Quran is for all the humanities. You, you have to look at it in which you think. And he says, don't use one verse in isolation. You have to connect it. You have to look at it. It's so fine. Right. So, how do you do it with the head? How do you do it Thank you. 